Those of you out there, you lose it and you don't deserve to lose. You put in the work, you worked hard and you lose it. And I need you to do me a favor. This is the year to turn that around. Yes, you were rejected the last time, but go for it again. You were overlooked the last time, but show up again. Why? Because you are not finished. It is not over. You are not done. It is not too late. But what separates a dreamer from a doer? Let me break that down. Three words, consistent, follow through. Imagine a basketball player shooting hoops. How do you know if that shot's gonna go in? How do you know if that person is a shooter? You know how you become a shooter? You know how you knock it down? It's all in the follow through. I know about tough times. They can make you or they can break you. Come on now, come on, bring it. Come on now. Yeah, yeah. God not giving us spirit of fear. So I didn't have time to be fearful. I had to replace fearfulness with being fearless and creative and take the initiative to do something else with my life. I am going to make it. This is my comeback story. It takes faith to step into your purpose. It takes faith to step into your destiny. It takes faith to pull away from everything that is familiar, to step into uncharted territory, to become the person you were born to be. It takes faith. So from the start, you must decide that you refuse to remain where you are. Have you ever thought about inspiring somebody else? Have you ever thought about lifting somebody else? We need you to be a light in the midst of darkness. This world has gone crazy. This world needs you to rise up. This world needs your dream. This world needs you to be you. Give as much time and energy to your dream as you do to your fears. That creates the opening for miracles to show up in your life. I need you to acknowledge the fact, acknowledge that you lose it. Are you hearing me? Acknowledge it, own it. Own up to the fact that I'm losing, E. I'm losing financially, E. I'm losing, I'm losing in my marriage, E. I'm losing, I'm losing with my kids, E. I'm losing, personal development. I'm losing, E, and I'm tired of losing. I need you to own up to it, I'm losing. I'm a high school dropout, I'm losing. I'm working minimum wage, I'm losing. I'm getting in trouble with the law, I'm losing. My mom ain't talking to me in a strained relationship, I'm losing. I'm asking you to control what you can control. You can control going to bed. You can control getting up. You can control being on time. You can control going to class. You can control showing up. You can control doing your homework. You can control your attitude. You can control being nice. You can control doing what you say you're going to do when you say you're going to do it. It's your boy E.T. said, you want to be a winner and you want to stop losing? You minimize the errors and make the rest of your life the best of your life. Even when it looks like you're losing, you're winning. Never let uncertainty or doubt be the reason why you quit. Don't underestimate yourself. You do what you can do, and God will do what you can't do. Take the initiative, learn something new, throw your net on the other side, be ambitious, Reach, ask for help, not because you're weak, but because you want to remain strong. Let's make up your mind and expect things to get better for you. You need to walk into your future whole condition, ready to grab the people that believed in you before you made it to the top. Go back and get them, but first you've got to condition yourself. Come on, who am I talking to? I'm talking to that person that's tired of where they are. You have to find a way. You must find a way to get back up. This is not the end for you, you will not quit. Do not take this life for granted. Live every moment knowing you will have no regrets. We are alive and breathing and capable of more than we can ever imagine. See, we all have these tough moments in life 
Walt Disney filed bankruptcy seven times and he had two nervous breakdowns. Oh, he was bent, but he wasn't broken. No. He kept creating. Someone stole his first cartoon that had great promise. And, and someone stole it. Somebody on his team stole it from him. His heart was broken. But he didn't stay there being angry and bitter and talking about it. He created Mickey Mouse. Had that person not stole his first cartoon, Mickey Mouse would not have been born. Many times when one door closes, another door opens, but we many times spend time looking at and talking about the closed door. We don't see the open door. Giving up is easy. Succumbing to how you feel is easy. But hanging in there, when you feel like you don't have anything left, now that's hard. So are you willing to make the tough decisions? Are you willing to stretch yourself? Are you willing to get up every time you fall? If you're gonna to get to the top, you gotta to know what it feels like to be at the bottom. You gotta know what it feels like to crawl through the dirt and the mud and all of the things that you don't feel comfortable in being in. What do your eyes see? What is your vision? I need you to commit to it. Whatever just went through your mind right now, I need it to be big and I need you to commit. I need you to be big thinking. I need you to commit. I need you to make a plan and I need you to follow through. That is all success requires is for you to rise up. Without failures or challenges, there could be no success. Man, you will get up and you will go up. Miracles happen when you give as much energy to your dreams. A, a dream of, of picking up the pieces and starting all over again. The dream of if you get knocked down in life, try and land on your back because if you can look up, you can get up. A dream that when a doctor looks at you and said you're terminal and you say no, you determine the diagnosis. God determines the prognosis. The dream that this has not come to stay, it has come to pass. Oh, when you give as much time and energy to your dream, to this new vision of yourself, I'll give you all your eyes can see. Focus. There's greatness in you. There's so many people counting on you. You've heard this a million times, that the cemetery is full of potential. And that's true. Because that person didn't do what they needed to do through the dash. We all are born and we all gonna die. Now I'm gonna ask you a question. What are you gonna do with your dash?